A world tour by FlightSim. We fly you around the world in your personal private jet. Today we fly from Christchurch to Wellington. We arrived in Christchurch in the last video, flying from Queenstown via Mount Cook. Good guys, so we're back for the next flight. Oh, look at that jet start. Two planes, goodness me. Uh, we're about to fly up to Wellington from Christchurch, which is where the Lord of the Rings movies were uh, produced. And uh, it's one of the windiest airports in the world, so... I mean, today we've got a gorgeous day. There's a bit of cloud cover further up, up high, but we're going to be fine. That's Banks Peninsula over there, if you didn't see that in the last video. And off we go. Get up to 90. I can sit on the left there if you've got good eyes. Maybe hard on a mobile phone, but on the, on the uh, computer you'll be able to see it. Um, get up to 90... And rotate. Okay, nice. Problem is, we're actually taking us south. And we need to bank around. And, um, view from the co pilot. That's a bit of a, there's a bit of a moon up there. Okay. Let's just get a bit higher. And that's a lovely day. Look at that. And, um, and back around. Flaps are up. And it goes up. Come on, lift, lift, lift. That's the, um, this Bryson Beach over there. You can see the end of the the river that goes through Christchurch, just coming out at the end of Brighton Beach. Okay, we're just going to intercept the autopilot route. This is the Waimakariri River down to the left. It's a braided river, which I talked about in the last video. Yeah. Be able to fly when you look at the side of the plane. Um, as you can see it quite well there, though. Uh, it's this braided river. It's all the stones that they come down from the mountains from the Southern Alps, like Mount Cook and all that. And so uh, you end up with a whole lot of little kind of streams, but in the winter there's quite a lot of water. Um, from the um, Well, spring there's quite a lot of water from the melting snow. And they form a braided river. You'll okay the back there. Not even too much crayfish. Look at that guy. Jeez, he's huge. So we've got the Kaikoura Peninsula in front of us. Um, the thing there sticking out in the middle of the water. Uh, and this big bay area to the left, or in front of us here, that's got sperm whales in it. And it's beautiful. And you, they have, a, obviously, it was called whale watching Kaikoura. Right? Creative name. Um, they go out and they're pretty fancy boats. They go out with a whole lot of tourists from all around the world and um, you've got like a 90% chance of seeing the sperm whales um, I'll just type down it. The sperm whales surfacing for air. They come up for air, breathe on the surface for a little bit and then they, then they drop back down. Um, like I said before they've got amazing, like the dolphin life's just mind-blowing. Um, as I said before, a couple of hundred dolphins just jumping out of the water. Then a little while uh, further on, you've got another hundred or so jumping out of the water. We'll go straight over Kaikoura. It's a lovely little town. It's not very big. I don't know, a couple, couple of thousand people. Maybe five. I don't know, actually. I should check that. But um, it's nice because it's, it's on a beach, it's on a peninsula. They had a massive earthquake here, unfortunately, uh, a few years ago, which you might have heard about. 
and you can actually see you can see how much the rocks have lifted up out of the ocean this is quite remarkable like a couple of meters you can see rocks still still now even that are kind of white and covered with the dead algae because they used to be under the water and now they're way above sea level and there are beaches the earth, the earth rose there are beaches that didn't exist before where the waves used to crash against the rocks now there are beaches um so it's quite spectacular and it see all those rocks on the right um like a lot of those are probably underwater uh before the earthquake i can't recall how many people passed due to the earthquake but not a lot of it's a nice little river not a lot of people live in kaikoura and i think it was generally not too bad in terms of that but obviously it upended um people's lives dramatically uh, oh, look at that, it's a nice, nice view of the Kaikoura Peninsula. Um, a lot of people didn't have places to live for months and months and months. Um, yeah, okay, look at that, nice view of the mountains. <coughs> Actually, in, um, in summer, yeah, so it's all very green and there's, there's a lot of snow on the hills. I'm filming this in February and got it set to real weather and it is, well, actually the 1st of March, so... Um, yeah, so there isn't much snow, but a yeah, nice part of the world. The beach is looking kind of grey, that's because it's actually stones, it's not sand. Um, yes, yeah, so it's not, you know, it's not the best for, for swimming, but it's still nonetheless uh, very, very beautiful. Um, Going along at 270 knots in your private jet. You're good? Loving it? Oh, look at that. That's a nice, uh, you, you got a nice position there. Um, it's the co pilot's view. Um, look at those mountains. This in the winter, they're all pretty much covered in snow. Still heading along the coast, we're going to go up until that river and then head west across the country uh, to Nelson. Here we are, the autopilot's turning for us into Nelson. Nelson's uh, coming up on our coming up on our right. Oh, that's up there. So you've got the mountains of Marlborough Sounds on the right and right nestled in the right hand corner of that bay there is Nelson like I said a pretty little town um, good for retirees good for enjoying the sunshine good for fruit big big fruit growing area it's coming into some Nelson here it's a pre pretty good view of our, our beautiful plain See all the fruit growing areas down below us. You get a lot of, um, and out to the west as well, to the left, you get a lot of uh, foreigners, um, like people from Europe, mainly Canadians, um, Southeast Asians, uh, people from the Pacific Islands uh, coming to um, coming for seasonal jobs to pick fruit and just have a holiday in New Zealand and earn some money while they're doing it. So the Marlborough Sounds are just doing big section on the northeast of the South Island of intricate uh, intricate bays um, lots and lots of uh, bays outstanding for boating see a couple of boats down there and um, three boats four boats and no people basically apart from <laughs> apart from boaters so just gorgeous forest as you can see oh beautiful forest um there's a bit of a rock, uh, a bit of a scree slip, something on the right. Um, has dropped out a bit. And low are we? 3,000 feet. Yeah. And uh, it's lots and lots of bays. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's famous for green lipped mussels. So, really delicious big, um, big New Zealand mussels called green lipped mussels. That little peninsula 
out to the left. Interesting. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. That's where they're growing the mussels. Fantastic. Ah, uh, those lines there. That's, um, that's a mussel farm. Really sure about it. They also do salmon farming up here, but that's, that's too close to the shore to be salmon farming. Looks like a fairy tale place down the bottom with, with the beautiful green fields surrounded by bush by the ocean. Wow. So to the left there, there's uh, Wellington and that bay there. A lot of, a lot of good cats. It's actually the capital. You'd probably, probably know that. You might know that. The capital of New Zealand. So a lot of the people who, um, who live and work in uh, Wellington are government employees. Okay, coming into land of Wellington. Here, speed up a little bit. It's a beautiful day. No wind at all. Maybe when we go further north, we'll have some storms, but we've been very lucky so far. 500. Basically, well, basically on sea level, we are on sea level, so <coughs> drop a bit more altitude. Hey, hey, hey. See, that was a bad landing. Come on, get in there. Put the wing if I... There we go. Sorry guys, but we're going to get there. And there's a dramatic uh, view of Wellington. Lovely. Beautiful day. Very hilly. Windy Wellington is not living it up, living up to its name today. Actually this beach... Uh, this... Oh, that's pretty. That beach often has good surf. That's the main surfing place in Wellington, Lyle Bay. So the next flight, we're going up to Rotorua. It's over volcanoes in the middle of the North Island, uh, active volcanoes, into Rotorua, which is a geothermal hotspot that a lot of tourists go to. Uh, so see you in the next video, which will be up on the right when it's ready. For the last video, Queenstown to Christchurch, up in the left. Thank you very much.